Hello and welcome out there. This is Atheric777 today back with another little video and you are going to see a little premiere tonight here on my channel because this is my first tutorial when it comes to modelism and you know I'm a beginner by myself so that is just something very little something to start with and probably all the professionals that will see this video are going to smile a bit but you know somewhere we have to start and uh, I hope that this video will help some other beginners out there too. Okay, so we are going to talk about voltage regulators and that are things that you will need quite often when you start with modelism. Uh, in my case I need it because I have a 2S LiPo on my car that I showed to you a moment ago with 8.4 volts on the output and I have a camera that I want to power up with 12 volts on the input. So what I did is I simply connected this regulator to XD60 connector. As you see there, the connector is the yellow one. And uh, that goes very easy. And then I connected this connector to the battery. And voila, we have already a certain voltage on the regulator. I measured it with a voltmeter. Now uh, we have 13.6 volts, a little bit too much. Uh, and in this case you just disconnect it and then you go on the body to the, to the right or to the left depending on your connector until you find the right voltage and that goes very fast and is a very simple thing and voila perfectly 12 volt as I wanted to have them. After you did this step you simply connect the device on the other side, on the outgoing side of this regulator. In my case it was a camera. And don't forget to put already the heat shrink over the voltage regulator because otherwise you have to desolder again the cables. That is something that happens to me quite often because I'm confused. But uh, yeah, when you watch out this will not happen to you. Alright, so at this point we have everything here connected. It's still uh, not powered on. So uh, on my portable computer I just had to test everything a little video signal receiver. And now it's time to connect the connectors. But it's not so easy with the left hand when you have the camera in the right hand but somehow it works out. You see I connected by the way two cables on the battery. So one powers directly uh, the video transmitter, that means the video transmitter has 8.4 volts while the camera is now powered with 12 volt and voila we have a very clean and perfect picture on the receiving side and that was how it works, very simple it's something that you can do in 5 to 10 minutes and it's really very useful as I told very cheap price less than 10 dollars from foxtechfpv.com and after you did all the works you just put the heat shrink over and uh, put it together. All right, I hope I could help somebody. Leave me a nice comment. I thank you very much that you watched this video. Come back soon and bye bye.